here at the Isle of Wight Driving Academy, we're going to be demonstrating another route approaching the St Mary's Junction. But today we're going to be coming from the Forest Road direction. Now down at the traffic lights, we're going to be turning right, following the road signs towards Towngate. So I'm going to remain in the right hand lane. Now an early scan here of the pedestrian crossing. So I've scanned it, it doesn't look like the button's been pushed, there's no red light and in the small box at the bottom. And now I'm going to slow down, making sure that I don't block anything. I'm now checking all three mirrors just whilst I'm stationary to see if anything's going to pass me on either side of the car. Whilst we're stationary, we could be vulnerable for cyclists, motorbikes coming down both sides. When the traffic lights go to green, I'm going to confirm that I'm going to make a right-hand turn. Now looking down at the road zones, I can see that once I've turned right at the traffic lights, I'm going to be taking the right lane towards town. You probably won't be able to see that on the, um, on the video just because it's too far away. Now I can see that the man on the left has just pushed the button. So when my lights go green, I've got to anticipate that these lights may in fact change on me. So I'm selecting all three of my gear one, I'm selecting all three mirror checks and then I'm moving across. I'm going to confirm my right hand turn, I'm checking my right hand mirror as I turn and going into my right designated lane. At the traffic lights I'm going to turn right, so I'm checking my rear view mirror over on my right hand mirror and moving into the right hand lane. I'm going to leave my indicator on again just to confirm my turn. And I'm stopping a safe distance behind the vehicle. Now, whilst I'm waiting here for the lights to go green, I'm just going to talk a little bit about forward planning and anticipation, especially when we're going in towards Towngate. So once we get around the corner, we're going to be um, met by a pedestrian crossing, some parked cars, and quite a small area, which on mock tests when we do with students, we tend to find that they get serious marks and a few fails. That also goes for the main practical test. What we're trying to do with the students is get them to look a little bit further ahead in the road to try and anticipate the best thing to do and not commit the car too early if you can't see thoroughly enough. I'm just, I know, getting my lights go, so I'm checking all three mirrors now as I'm about to move off, selecting my gear. Now I'm going to drive over the white right hand arrow so I'm not cutting any corners. Now this is taking me into town. We're going to follow the natural flow of road round to the left hand side. Once we get around the corner, the first thing we're met by is a pedestrian crossing and parked cars on the right. So I've scanned the crossing and there's no button pushed. So I'm okay and safe to proceed through. Now this doesn't happen very much, but there's no cars outside of the shop, which again requires you to have a lot of hold back um, anticipation. Now I can see the white car in front of me moving out, so I'm checking my rear view mirror, my right hand mirror. I'm adopting my hold back position and I'm not going to commit too early. I'm last checking my right hand mirror now as I move out and around the parked car. Now I check my rear view mirror and my left one to move back in, just watching the person to make sure he's not going to cross the road. Now that is the direction of Forest Road towards Towngate, a nice little short route. Not a lot of traffic this time, unfortunately. Um, but that's the route that we're going to be